Most people are quite familiar with DNA, which stores all of our genetic information. But did you know that DNA has a close relative called RNA that we could not live without? Now, DNA is not only the core component of our bodies, but it acts as the blueprint, providing instructions for all physiological functions. However, without RNA, none of these would be possible. DNA is located only within the nucleus of cells, which means that, by itself, it cannot relay its information to the cytoplasm. This is a problem because DNA needs to get its various genetic information outside of the nucleus in order for proteins to be created to function. This is where RNA comes in. To put it in simple words, the role of RNA is to make it possible for DNA to do its job. Now, let us take a closer look at just how important RNA's role is in the human body. You have probably already learned that DNA's structure can be described as a double helix. When DNA comes into contact with the enzyme RNA polymerase, the double strands are pulled apart, losing the double helix shape. The information in one of these strands is then copied and used to create an mRNA. This process is known as transcription. mRNAs then act as DNA messengers, taking the information that they copied from the DNA and transferring it outside the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. After entering the cytoplasm, mRNA comes across protein-making factories called ribosomes, which are made up of ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, Ribosomes then take the genetic information carried by the mRNA and use the amino acids attached to transfer RNA, or tRNA, to create proteins. This process is known as translation. Just to recap, mRNA is made from DNA through the process of transcription, and proteins are made through the translation of mRNA. The most important player in this entire biological mechanism is none other than RNA. Realizing this importance was just the beginning of a series of breakthroughs for scientists continued to make even more amazing discoveries about RNA. The most notable one is the discovery of small interfering RNA, or siRNA, which can regulate gene expression. Here, it's important to note that, although much of the genetic information that mRNA is carrying leads to proteins that help the body, some of it can also produce proteins that harm the body. siRNA's job is to interfere the expression of this bad information to prevent such harmful proteins from being created. This phenomenon is known as gene silencing. The discovery of gene silencing led scientists to wonder, would it be possible to use siRNA to find and eliminate mRNAs that are responsible for causing diseases? This would mean that diseases could be cured, in a sense, before the proteins that cause them are even created. This would be such an innovative form of treatment. With this goal in mind, scientists began to research methods of synthesizing siRNA that can then be put into the human body. Let's take a more detailed look at how siRNA can be used to cure diseases. Each double-stranded siRNA acts as a sort of recon team designated to hunt down certain mRNAs. When siRNAs containing information from target mRNA are put into our bodies, they combine with the RNA-induced silencing complex located in the cytoplasm and activate it. Once activated, risk becomes a target mRNA killer, eliminating any target mRNA it finds. The mechanism for risk is as follows. When it encounters an siRNA containing any disease-causing mRNA, it breaks down all of that mRNA information. In other words, RNAi therapeutics theoretically make it possible to cure any and all diseases. This has implications in drastically reducing the time it takes to develop new drugs, since one can target and eliminate mRNA that poses a risk for disease just by changing the nucleotide sequence. Sounds like a groundbreaking technology, right? 
Of course, if RNAi technology were that easy, we would already be living in a world free from disease. Unfortunately, existing RNAi technology comes with a few side effects. Do you remember that siRNA is composed of double strands? By composition, the double strands are symmetrical. When RISC combines with siRNA, it selects one of the double strands, known as the passenger strand, and removes it. However, during this process, RISC sometimes chooses the wrong siRNA strand, silencing the strand it was supposed to keep, and leaving behind the strand it was supposed to turn off. In other words, genes that are meant to be expressed end up being suppressed. This event is referred to as an off-target effect. Also, when treating retinal diseases, administering siRNA sometimes causes such a strong immune response that it can lead to toxic retinopathy. A more fundamental issue is that it is not easy to deliver siRNA to the cytoplasm. This is because it is hard for it to pass through the cell membrane. If siRNA is unable to move through the cell membrane and into the cell, there is no way for it to perform its functions. RNA scientists struggled to find a solution to these problems. Eventually, after extensive research, a group of scientists was successful in developing new types of RNAi technology. One of these is Olix Pharmaceuticals Cell Penetrating Asymmetric siRNA, or CPASIRNA. The way it works is simple. This technology changes the symmetrical composition of siRNA into an asymmetrical one. Since one strand is designed to be shorter than the other, this technology decreases the chances of off-target effects by forcing RISC to select the strand it is meant to keep. This breakthrough is even more impactful because it offers a solution to transporting siRNA into the cell solely through chemical modifications. All of this is possible due to Oryx Pharmaceuticals' signature technology, which substantially reduces toxicity levels and demonstrates a remarkable capacity to suppress target genes. Olix Pharmaceuticals' CPASIRNA technology is referred to as a type of platform technology. This is because it can be applied to any disease just by changing the nucleotide sequence of the respective drugs. Using this technology, selecting candidates for new drugs takes no more than three months. Indeed, CPASIRNA is impressive, not only because it solved the existing problems that scientists faced with siRNA, but also in that it is an outstandingly effective, innovative, and powerful oligonucleotide-based technology. Using CPASI RNA, scientists at Olix Pharmaceuticals are tirelessly working on ways to respond to the diseases of today's world.